What's happening? Crypto fam, happy, happy Wednesday. Good morning and welcome back to Love for Crypto. I'm Scott. It's a pleasure to have you here. I appreciate you taking your time out to consume the content. So thank you. This morning we're on Starbucks and I'm getting in the NFT craze. As I mentioned time and time again, even yesterday, Greg's and Co will soon be in the NFT game. I am waiting more for the functional NFTs from that crew, I'm not going to lie, but Starbucks are getting in here, it's likely going to be collectibles at first, but we'll have a, we'll have a think about what we think. <laughs> it had me think it right. <clears throat> Let me have a little read first. The so Starbucks CEO announces NFTs to the co-workers amongst a union drive. So, in layman's terms, um, employees union has gone and like probably not upper want to drive for better working conditions better workers rights better workers rewards better this better that blah 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 so you do a union drive and you have the CEO come out and it's all going to be okay your job is going to be okay we're going to we're going to it's going to be okay Dave you're fucking gone mate but Everyone else is going to be hooked. You know what I mean, don't you? So Schultz promised. Promised Starbucks would introduce NFTs this year. An hour before this company fired a union organiser at the Phoenix store. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he's like, Dave, you fucking got no man. Anyway, in a town hall meeting on Monday, aimed at Starbucks workers amid a massive union drive, failed presidential candidate and Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz Revealed a development that he hoped would excite workers. And the development was crypto. Potentially. Like, we'll get to that in a bit. In a clip from Partner, uh, from a Partner Open Forum held on Monday, and, a sh and shared on Twitter by Jordan Zachary, a reporter and producer of the Progressive News outlet, a more perfect union, Schultz awkwardly asked multiple times if anyone in the audience was a digital native. I don't know what... <clears throat> what the fuck's a digital native? Does that mean you... I don't know what he meant. I don't think the audience, the audience really knew what he meant. Um, I don't know what the fuck he actually meant. Anyway... He then went back on the script and asked if anyone had followed what was happening with the NFTs, participated in NFT investing, the audience laughed. Only one brave soul chimed in to say they'd invested, but still, Schultz was undeterred. If you look at the companies, the brands, the celebrities, the influencers that are trying to create a digital NFT platform and business, I can't find one of them that is the treasure trove of assets that Starbucks has from collectibles to the entire heritage of the company. Schultz told the room, so where's the secret? Sometime before the end of this calendar year, we are going into the NFT business. <laughs> We're going into the NFT business. Biz. Basically, he's like, we, we, we want to gain off NFTs. That's what it means, that, isn't it? We want to gain off NFTs. So... In a news release recapping short statements, he reiterated that NFTs are on the company's roadmap but didn't provide more details. A Starbucks spokesperson pointed motherboard to the news release and asked for more details about the plan. There is videos on Jordan Zacharin's Twitter. Hyperlinks in the description if you want to find these stories in the videos. I'm going to play the video now. I want you to check his tone. I want you to check the, the digital na native shit. What did he even mean? He mean, who in here is a digital native? Who, who watching this is a digital native and can tell me what the fuck it even means? <laughs> Real talk, mate. You can full screen that bitch. I shouldn't say this, but what the hell? I shouldn't say this, but what the hell, dickhead? Okay. Uh, I'm not a digital native, obviously. <laughs> Raise your hand if you're a digital native. That's not a very strong native. Hand. What? What's he even made? Who's a digital native? 
No one? Adam Brotman's a digital native. Okay. How many people have followed what has been happening with NFTs? Wow. How many people have participated in investing in NFTs? How have you done? The, the, the one guy. Okay for now. Okay for now. That's how he's doing. Okay. So if you look at, I try to be a student with all this, not being a digital native. If you look at the companies, the brands, the celebrities, the influencers that are trying to create a digital NFT platform and business, I can't find one of them that has the treasure trove of assets that Starbucks has from collectibles to the entire heritage of the company. So, here's the secret. Sometime before the end of this calendar year, we are going to be in the NFT business. Okay. I don't really think that came off the way they wanted it to. It didn't to me. He came off as a bit of an idiot who's pushing his company into a gimmick and trying to look cool in front of his employees during a union drive. Yeah. Short comments on the NFT come in the context of a speech that also, t <laughs> also took aim at unionization efforts at companies in the US like Starbucks and frame them as an assault. So you've got to, it's, to try to unionize Starbucks. I mean... Imagine they was trying to decentralise it instead of just union. All they want is better rights, better working conditions, I bet, you know, better wages. Do you know what I mean? And the, and the motherfucking moaning about unionisation. How are they going to feel about decentralisation in the next couple of decades? Because I've got news for you, Starbucks. You might want to be decentralised in the next 20 to 30 years. Or you might not exist. <laughs> Just saying, people think people are. What do you mean, Starbucks wouldn't exist? Yeah, well, Toys R Us, Woolworths, Blockbusters, multi-million pound, billion pound companies. Where the fuck are they now? Right. So it gets a little sensitive. <laughs> Here's where I've been coached a little bit. Schultz told the room in a clip shared by the, the union. But he wants to talk about something pretty serious. We can't ignore what's happening in the country as it relates to companies throughout the country being assaulted in many ways by the threat of unionization. Also on Monday, Starbucks alleged, <laughs> allegedly retaliated against Lalia Dalton, a 19-year-old barista in Phoenix, for her role in the union drive by firing her. Progressive news outlet More Perfect Union reported More Perfect Union has also previously shared videos of Dalton's managers harassing her for handing out union cards to employees. So, that's a whole other story, isn't it, really? The fighting against unionization. But, <sighs> one more search. Starbucks collectibles. The guy seems to think that they've got a treasure trove of collectibles. I don't know any. I, I, I didn't even know they had any. Starbucks collectibles. 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 Starbucks collectibles. Oh, they've got, oh, got some spoons on eBay. Got a variety pack of coffee on Amazon. Cups, 28 pound timber turquoise glitzing cup, coffee mug, mugs, your guide to Starbucks collectibles, the most complete list of Starbucks collectibles, Disneyland Starbucks, so, so Starbucks Disneyland mug, Disneyland mug, can't really fucking see that with a glare, Monty Belair. Turnpike. So the mugs, the mugs. You got collectible mugs. What do you fucking do? That seems like that's it. A full list, a list of complete. Oh sh excuse me. There's 169 pages. Probably all fucking mugs. 
I just went to page 169 and it's still fucking a mug. What we're gonna do now is go 167. And guess what's on 167? Fucking mugs. Um, and if I clicked on another page, I'd probably be a fucking mug myself. So let's come off that. <laughs> because we don't want to be on that shit. Right, how do you think the unionization motherfuckers... I think you shouldn't really call them motherfuckers. They've got entitled, they're entitled to better rights and better pay and shit. I wonder how he'd feel, CEO of, of, of Starbucks... If he was pushing for decentralization and for it to become a decentralized autonomous organization where anyone, any, everyone benefits as much as most people. Still tiered slightly, the person at the top earning slightly more than the person at the bottom, but a hell of a lot more fair. And the company as a whole not taking billions in profits every year. How would they react to that? Oh, I don't think they're going to like it. Other side of the coin, how would the union workers, or the workers who were looking to unionise, how would they have reacted if he was like, look, tell you what, we're going to do NFTs, we're getting into NFTs, and do you know what the first set of them are going to be? What the first set of them are going to be are going to be for you, and I'm going to give them you for free. Yeah, and what it's going to be, it's going to be your staff discount in the form of an NFT. And even when you leave the company, You'll, you'll own your staff discount. You'll keep your staff discount. I tell you what, anyone who's been here longer than 12 months receives the, the staff discount in the form of an NFT, meaning they now own it. Which means if we sack you or you leave the company, you've still got your 10, 20, 30% staff discount, whatever it is. Been there longer, bigger percentage. You own that discount now. You can decide to use it in Starbucks for the rest of your life, or you can sell it on OpenSea. But you own it. You are the owner of discount at Starbucks. If they came out and said, look, we're doing this, and we're going to do NFTs, and we're giving you, the workers, the first set, McDonald's. McDonald's have been on Twitter, horrible bastards, been on Twitter giving away McRib. McRib NFTs, what if you give to your employees, Mackies? What if you give to your employees? Give them some free shit first. Been grinding for fuck. Mate, mate. I think with companies, when they're doing that, they need to be thinking about their employees first, and they really need to give some of the employees the first set of NFTs, in my opinion. My, my, some people ain't gonna give a shit about my opinion, and some people are like, oh, fuck the fucking employees, mate. Be replaced by robots soon, and they will. But that's not the point. It, it's gonna make that transition easier, isn't it? You have to get an NFT discount. You get a, 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 a free browner NFT, uh, free brownie before nine a.m., free coffee before nine a.m. Mentioned about the Greg's yesterday, a free Greg's cappuccino or whatever before nine a.m. A free Nando's after 8 p.m. Shit like that. So if Nando's, you all could have a Nando's somewhere that doesn't really get anyone in at a certain time and they just dish out a load of NFTs that gives you 10% off during that time. <laughs> like the only time for people to benefit off the rewards and, and fucking the rewards of the NFTs. It becomes a fucking happy hour, basically. It becomes an happy hour. Pubs used to do it all the time. Happy hour, that shit. And an hour that used to be dead as fuck ends up busy as fuck. NFTs can do the same thing if they give them out in the right manner and have the perks. That was the word I was looking for, the perks. Because the traits, fuck your fucking traits. Want perks and rewards. That's all they're going to care about. The rewards and the perks. Fucking whether it's wearing glasses or not. No one gives a shit. No one cares what colour fucking lips are on a Picasso painting. No one really gives a shit if I've got green lips and you've got blue lips. No, unless your favourite colour's blue. Or my favourite colour's blue and I've got red. And I want a blue one instead. 
and then we're just getting a bit fucking immature, aren't we? So, yeah. Anyway, Starbucks are entering the NFT craze. It's likely just going to be a picture of a fucking mug at first, or even just a logo, which is pretty sad, because they're just going to throw them out, um, looking to build some attention or build, get, gain some value and profit, when realistically, I think they should be just excuse me, handing the first set to their employees. That's what I'd do. That's what I'd do. I'd give the employees the first ones um, and make sure it's the staff discount as ownership of their staff discount. Almost definitely. That's definitely the one I'd do, 100%. So let us know what you do in the comments, yeah? If you was in charge, CEO of one of these big fucking corporate brands, What's the first kind of NFT you bring out? What what and and would you sell it? Would you give it away on Twitter? Would you give it to your employees? How would you play it? Because I I don't think I'd do it the way I'm seeing it done at the moment. Anyway, you know the dance: invest in yourself, invest in that of value, live long and oddly it all, never let it go. Get it staked, get it baked. Look after that pot till it turns round. And looks after you. Yeah, wishing health and happiness to you and yours. We love crypto. We love NFTs. We love cappuccino. I don't really like Starbucks. But I love you. So take care of yourself. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.